this program, we'll introduce you to the scroll saw. We'll describe all the parts and controls of the scroll saw and how they affect what operations can be performed. We've included some helpful safety information and a demonstration of some of the most common operations. The scroll saw is designed to perform intricate and curved cutting operations and is also known as a jigsaw. Scroll saws are either floor mounted or bench mounted and tend to be a bit smaller than most stationary woodworking tools. Conventional scroll saws have rigid arms and reciprocating blades that travel up and down. As the blade switches direction with each stroke, the tension on the blade varies widely. The top blade mount is spring-loaded to help maintain blade tension. Blade breakage is fairly common with conventional scroll saws. Constant tension scroll saws hold the blade in a moving arm under constant tension. This improvement in design helps to prolong blade life. The scroll saw is a single purpose tool used mostly for small scale, tightly curved sawing work. It does many of the same cutting operations as a band saw, a portable saber saw, or a coping saw. The scroll saw cuts with a very fine toothed blade and therefore produces a smoother finished cut than the band saw. You can also do inside cutting or pierced work. Decorative trim pieces for shelving or antique furniture items can be cut easily with the scroll saw. You can cut wood, rubber, plastic, thin gauge metal, and many other materials. In some shops, the scroll saw is used for ripping and sanding, but most woodworkers find other tools perform these chores more efficiently. The scroll saw is a special use tool that many woodworkers find useful. They're used in furniture and cabinet making shops and in general wood shops and home shops too. They're very safe and easy to use. Beginning woodworkers can build their confidence quickly and get professional looking results with little practice. Intricate models and antique reproductions test the more experienced woodworker skills on a scroll saw. The scroll saw is a fairly safe machine, but still one deserving respect and care to prevent injury. Use the hold down properly, and most of the danger can be avoided. We will cover more on safety later. The scroll saw has a base, which is either bolted to the floor or a bench top, and a table. The table on some scroll saws can be tilted to the left or to the right. It's held in position with a table locking lever. The arm holds the saw blade and extends out over the table. The motor is mounted under the table and is attached to the drive mechanism either through belts or directly through the motor shaft. The on-off switch is mounted in a convenient location and functions like any other woodworking machine. Conventional scroll saws have rigid arms. The saw blade is stretched between the upper and lower chuck jaws. The lower chuck is attached to a pitman drive that translates rotary motion into circular motion, much like a steam locomotive works. The upper chuck is spring-loaded to provide constant tension to the blade. As the blade travels up and down, the spring in the tension sleeve is compressed and released. Blades tend to break fairly often with this type of scroll saw, especially if the stock is force-fed too quickly. Modern, constant tension scroll saws have either C-arm or parallel arm designs. The entire arm moves and the blade is kept under constant tension. This helps to prolong the life of the blade. An adjustable hold down is positioned at the end of a guide post. The hold down holds the material firmly on the table while it's being cut. The dust blower directs a stream of air to keep dust from covering up your cutting marks. Many scroll saws also have a lamp to help illuminate the work area. The blade is supported by the blade support and the blade guide. The top tube or sleeve on conventional scroll saws is adjustable to accommodate different length blades. The overall size of a scroll saw is determined by the distance between the blade and the inside of the arm. 
This is the maximum width of stock which may be cut. On a 14 inch saw, work that is 28 inches wide can be handled. Scroll saws are designed for light work, so no material thicker than about an inch should be cut. The power of the scroll saw is determined by the size of the motor. Motors range from 1 to 4 amps. Most modern scroll saws have induction motors that are totally enclosed and protected from dust. Some saws with electronic speed controls utilize DC motors. Older, conventional style scroll saws may have a general purpose motor that can be damaged by excessive dust accumulation. The cutting speed of a scroll saw is sometimes adjustable from 400 to 2000 RPM. The speed is adjusted by moving the drive belt between step cone pulleys or by adjusting the electronic controls. Single speed saws run at about 1700 RPM. Be sure to check with the operator's manual or the shop supervisor to determine the best speeds for each individual operation. The feed rate is also important. Scroll saws are fed manually and experience will help you to adjust your feed rates. The most common accessory for the scroll saw is a good set of blades. Blades are available in many different thicknesses and widths and with different sized teeth. Larger teeth work best for soft woods. Finer teeth work best for hardwoods and for cutting metal and plastic. Thinner, more narrow blades are used for tightly radiused curves or for cutting with a smaller kerf. The scroll saw is a fairly safe power tool when used properly. Like any power tool, you should make sure the power is disconnected to the scroll saw before setting up the saw or changing blades. Avoid loose clothing that might get caught and keep the table free of scraps or loose tools. Wear the proper safety gear. Here are a few additional safety rules to keep in mind. Use the proper blade. Be sure to select the proper blade for each specific operation. The blade should be sharp and straight. Be sure the blade is securely mounted with the teeth pointed down. Don't try to make a blade do a job for which it's not expressly designed. Use the proper speed. Adjust the speed by setting up the belt on the pulleys correctly or by adjusting the electronic controls. Check the operator's manual for proper speeds. Check for proper setup. Check to see that the blade support and guide are properly adjusted. The hold down should be set for the thickness of the stock to be cut. Now, if you're using a conventional scroll saw with a rigid arm, turn the jigsaw by hand through one complete cycle. Be sure the chuck will not bang up against the table or any other parts. Always keep your hands safe. It's very important to keep your fingers in mind at all times. Maintain a generous safety margin between the saw blade and you. Even when you're cutting curves and intricate lines, keep your hands away from the line marked on the stock. If the pulley is exposed, keep your hands and clothing away from the belt as well. Never force the stock into the blade. Be sure the blade is not in contact with the stock each time you start the saw. Use firm but not forceful pressure. The scroll saw is not supposed to be used for cutting stock over one inch thick. It's designed for light work only. Never leave the scroll saw while it's running. When you turn off the scroll saw, wait until it comes to a complete stop before cleaning up or leaving the area. Maintain a clean work area. Clean up all dust and scraps when you're done. In this section of the program, we'll demonstrate how to use the scroll saw. We'll show how to cut stock from an outer edge and how to make an inside cut. Check the saw for proper speed. Select the saw blade and mount it properly with the teeth pointing down toward the tabletop. Lower the hold down so that the stock is held against the table. In most shops, a general purpose blade is left mounted in the scroll saw. In this case, the only adjustment required is to adjust the hold down mechanism. Before you turn on the power, 
Run the blade through one cycle with your hand and check for clearance between the blade and the other parts. Clear off the table of scrap and loose tools. Make sure the stock is not in contact with the blade. Turn on the motor and let it come up to full speed. Feed the stock forward evenly and without using too much force. Let the kerf fall on the waist side of the cutting line. As you follow the cutting line, be sure to position your hands away from the blade. Rotate the stock so that you maintain a clear view of the cutting action. When you are done, turn off the motor and wait until the blade stops before cleaning up. To cut inside a piece of stock, you have to first drill a hole in the inner piece of waste material. This is called pierced work. Then you can place the stock on the scroll saw table and mount the blade through the hole. At this stage, inside cutting is performed just like an outer edge cut. When you're done, you have to remove the blade before you can remove the stock. Let's take a minute to review the basic safety rules for operating the scroll saw. Use the proper blade. Use the proper speed. Check for proper setup. Always keep your hands safe. Never force the stock into the blade. Never leave the scroll saw while it's running. And maintain a clean work area. Scrolling curves, intricate interior cuts, decorative trim work, even precision inlay work. These are all possible on the scroll saw and the relative safety of the scroll saw makes it the logical choice for all woodworkers from novice to experienced pro. Until next time, remember to have a safe and productive woodworking session.